What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got some pretty spicy duels for you guys to check out. Now that Dark Neil Storm is finally available in the TCG, as well as Miscellaneous Source going to three. Dinosaur variants have been pretty much unlocked, and their power is maximum. You can do some really, really powerful and incredible things in your first couple of turns, and you guys will see that on full display in this first duel. It's not just like getting Miscellaneous Source back, but also the fact that like there's a bunch of levels nine support in this set which synergizes incredibly well with um you know the true kings because they're level nine true kings have always synergized well with dinosaurs because of baby sarasaurus you pop it and then you can just search and you can pop baby sarasaurus to summon your um to summon your true kings also really good for like diagram because that searches the true king monsters and now with the world chalice miko it's not only easy to drop but then it searches even more support fodder for your level nines you guys will see everything i'm talking about and also, I guess last thing, if I'm an Altergeist player, Dinosaur variants are not what I want to run into, especially because not only can they drop True King of All Calamities turn one easily, but man, if they have Lost World on the field, it's just, God, you can't target their stuff, and that's what Altergeist love to do, so it's really, really difficult. Anyways, let's see what's going to shake down. I believe he's going to go for Diagram, probably pop Baby Sarasaurus to get a Surge, get Ovi Raptor, get another Baby Sarasaurus, then summon Baby Sarasaurus, pop that, then summon the other one. Now, now, just like that, pretty much off the normal summon, you already got your World Chalice Miko. It's fairly painless to be able to just go for that play. He's going to go ahead and he's going to search the World Legacy Burgeoning. This is what I'm talking about. This is like that, that level 9 support. You you know at some point he will summon one of these True King monsters. And then when he does that, he can just summon even more level 9s from his deck. And again, this card is searchable from Miko. So you don't always have to go for the standard World Legacy Succession that you see in all other decks. So anyways he's going to summon that true king Miko is going to activate and he is going to also be able to get baby Sarasaurus effect to get miscellaneous source and you know miscellaneous source not only can you use it as link fodder but you can use it from the graveyard as well this card being at three is absolutely nuts so he's going to activate that burgeoning and now he has like five monsters on board doesn't even need to go for uh, a calamities yet instead opening up some monster zones for those uh, you know the the guard dragon plays we still got red md and uh, the tcg so that gives him a crystal wing it's this can also be hot red dragon archie and abyss in this matchup against ultra guys you would most likely want to go abyss but since he probably doesn't know what he's playing against he just shotguns the copy of uh of, of crystal wing synchro dragon anyways he's going to activate that succession now he does have the copy of um, true king of all calamities even actually more reason why to go for like why you should go for um hot dragon archie and abyss because you're going to have lockdown for monster effects with calamities so crystal wing is almost redundant to be honest you'd much rather go for uh hot red Dragon Archer in the best. This is actually a misplay now that I'm thinking about it. Anyways, he summons Gillisaur, uh, Gillisaurus. His opponent doesn't have a graveyard, so he can't summon anything. Now he's going to use the Miscellaneous Source to get a level 2 Dinosaur. Boom, he's able to drop Naturia Beast, and then, since he did have a bunch of Dinos in the graveyard because of all the stuff that he sent there, he's able to also drop that copy of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and the way that you would play this out it's going to be obviously super difficult for your opponent because they're not getting any spell cards and obviously you have like true king of all calamities basically like evenly match would be the only thing that would kind of stop this type of board which is why again you would not want to summon crystal wing synchro dragon you would 100 want to go for something like um for hot red dragon archery and abyss or also i mean maybe you could go for like super polymerization because uh actually yeah no wait okay i, I thought i was looking at multiple dark monsters on the field <laughs> maybe super polymerization wouldn't actually work although there are a bunch of fusion monsters out there look the point is this would be an incredibly difficult board to out and your opponent would not be able to use spell cards monster effects and obviously true king or excuse me uh conductor tyranno could obviously just like launch this dude and then you could put your opponent's monsters face down and you would still easily have enough for an otk anyways this is a uh, game two or excuse me the second duel it's going to be uh i believe cyber dragons versus noble knights and showing off the power of the platinum gadget you know it's a, it's a card that it came out in dual power um some people play it in decks like abc also cyber dragons but it actually can be pretty damn important so noble knights getting that ice sold off not bad not bad 
Let's see if he can get to a copy of Morgana. I kind of feel like that's a card that you're going to want to get to uh, fairly early in Noble Knights because it is your primary way of like defending yourself. And I think it's just a good card. It's like your hand trap, kind of like your Scepter of Phoenix. He did get an Ash Blossom, so at least that's something. His opponent has Gamma, but I don't think he's going to be able to bait out the, uh, the Ash Blossom without having a monster in hand. He does get the Morgana. Galaxy Soldier is going to be met. Well, no, no. Galaxy Soldier is not going to be Ash. Actually, it looks like Cyber Dragon Hurts is going to be Ash. So, he will get the search for Galaxy Soldier. He says, all right, well, I can't use my Gamma. I might as well just go ahead and pitch it. And he is going to go for Cyber Dragon Nova. Now he's going to reborn his Hurts from the Nova. Keep in mind, it does count as Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. So it's a legal target. This means that his uh, Machine Dupe is still technically live after ranking up. And he's going to get three monsters on board just like that. Looks like he's trying to suck up the Isode. Morgan's trying to step in and say no. Cyber Dragon Infinity is like, I'm not having it. I'm just going to go ahead and negate you you fair enough so morgan will be negated now he probably wants to open up some more extra monster zones and he's going to go for platinum gadget and he's going to get a copy of cyber dragon core looks like he's using his normal summon on that and after using cyber emergency which he just searched from core now he's going to be able to use the effect to summon nashter nashter probably bringing back another cyber dragon or no he's bringing back infinity nice so <laughs> infinity is going to suck up another monster now he's going for nova he's probably going to pull back another cyber dragon and look at the explosiveness of this turn this this is what you're looking to do if you are a cyber dragon player this is why this deck can spin almost all of its hand but man the boards you can put out are definitely real i mean the guy has dropped cyber dragon infinity twice in this turn and he still has a nova during his next turn he could probably rank that up into infinity assuming his opponent even lives to see next turn so looks like he's just going to start attacking he's going to go for seeger crank his infinity up he's going to finally get over his opponent's monster his opponent's monster the noble knight xc is going to activate but nah cyber dragon infinity says i ain't having any of that and i think he's not going to be able to get game here because obviously seeger can't do any battle damage but it's fine he has the cybernetic overflow so chances are like as soon as his opponent commits two monsters to the board he will immediately try to nuke those cards and the morgana is nice but it can't like it can't activate did i say morgana sorry morgan can't activate because he doesn't actually control any noble arms card so basically it's just uh kind of the wrong timing to get that card i'm not sure what he could have possibly had instead of morgan that would have got him out of this situation because not having access to noble arms is like <laughs> that'll be the death of this deck anyways he summons uh the gawain and he realizes i'm not going to be able to get over this board even an infinity with no materials is still a cyber dragon infinity he still has 2100 attack and he can't attack into it even if he did have a higher attack because seeger's on board he would just crank it up anyway so anyways those are the duels hopefully you guys enjoyed those short duels if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.